Unveiling the Untold Chronicles of Air Evacuations During the Independence of India and Pakistan. Karachi, one hour ago, in the historical narrative of the violent partition between India and Pakistan, an unexplored facet emerges, the pivotal role of air evacuations. Amidst the bloodshed and chaos, aircraft played a discreet yet vital role in ensuring the safe movement of millions during the separation of the Indian subcontinent into two sovereign nations. Bahashem Seni's 1974 novel, Thomas, translated as, Darkness, remarkably captures the essence of the brutal partition. The story depicts the transformation of a village ravaged by violence, with an eerie backdrop of an airplane circling above it three times. Seni's fictional portrayal echoes the actuality of the catastrophic events that unfolded as India and Pakistan emerged as independent states. Rooted in religious divisions, the conflict led to the displacement of around 12 million people and a staggering death toll of nearly a million. Drawing parallels between fiction and reality, Indian historian Ashik Ahmad Iqbal suggests that the presence of aircraft mirrored the events on the ground. The mere sight of planes hovering overhead served as a deterrent, dispersing agitated crowds and granting villages crucial moments to fortify their defenses. In his book, The Airplane and the Making of Modern India, Iqbal underscores the aircraft's modest yet pivotal contribution to the partition of the British Empire in India. Contrary to the predominant modes of travel, trains, cars, rickshaws, and foot journeys, the usage of aircraft for evacuation remained a minority endeavor. A meager 50,000 individuals, constituting less than 1% of the evacuees, were airlifted from the territories that would become India and Pakistan. This substantial population exchange, involving almost 12 million people, transpired within a mere three-month window, spanning September to November of 1947. British Indian Air Force played a significant role in quelling the chaos and facilitating evacuations. Daily reconnaissance missions were executed to safeguard refugee-laden trains from potential ambushes, as well as to inspect railroads for any signs of sabotage. Airplanes scoured the landscape for armed groups and maintained communication with trains through wireless radio. An astonishing incident in September 1947 marked the aircraft's impact. An airplane flying over Punjab reported the sight of approximately 30,000 refugees traversing a 40-kilometer stretch on foot. The planes identified menacing crowds preparing to assault the weary refugees, promptly alerting military patrols of their locations. Smoke spiraled from burning villages, forming a grim tableau of the region's devastation. However, aircraft involvement extended beyond reconnaissance. The British Indian Air Force, primarily employing Dakota-type planes, transported 1.5 million doses of cholera vaccines from Delhi to Karachi, a critical measure against outbreaks in unsanitary refugee camps. These planes also airdropped essential supplies like cooked food, sugar, and oil to the refugees. Both India and Pakistan employed aircraft to dispense leaflets cautioning against violence during the unrest. The aircraft were instrumental in evacuating non-Muslims from remote Pakistani regions such as Multan, Banu, and Peshawar. Just as desperate Afghans clung to departing aircraft in Kabul in 2021, the airports of Delhi and Punjab witnessed similar scenes of desperation in 1947. Tickets were steeply priced, and passengers were permitted minimal baggage. Overcrowding was rampant, with planes modified to accommodate more refugees than their capacity. Seats and carpets were removed to maximize space. Ingenious methods, including using iron handcuffs for crowd control and generating airflow to disperse crowds, ensured relatively safe operations despite the challenges. By early 1947, India possessed 115 civilian aircraft managed by 11 private companies. The post-World War II era saw an unprecedented surge in civil aviation, with Indian companies procuring surplus aircraft, especially Douglas District of Columbia III, Dakotas, from retreating U.S. forces. However, oversupply and dwindling demand led to reduced profits. As partition loomed, civil aircraft not operating on fixed routes were conscripted for refugee transportation. Despite their efforts, civil airline operators were overwhelmed, prompting a plea for foreign assistance. British Airways answered the call, deploying 21 jets for a continuous 15-day operation to ferry over 6,300 individuals from Delhi to Karachi. Alongside people, the planes carried essential supplies and aid for stranded Muslim refugees at Delhi's airports. In retrospect, the lesser-known tale of air evacuations during India and Pakistan's independence echoes a resilient spirit in the face of adversity. The skies that once witnessed violence also bore witness to courage, compassion, and the indomitable human will to overcome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.